Hey, what's up guys? This is Henry Neo, and today we'll be comparing the Techno Phantom 8 to the Samsung Galaxy S8, both flagships in their respective brands. You asked for it, and I'm giving it to you. I'm also trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the year's end, and I know that you guys out there can help me achieve this. So if you're a returning viewer, but not yet subscribed, and if this is your first time coming to my channel, please, please, please hit the subscribe button below. It would help me greatly. I appreciate you guys, and without much ado, Let's get started. For this test, we're going to be doing app startup times and memory management. Um, I'm going to start with Google Play Music here. And just to show you that the memories are empty, you can see I've cleared all the apps from memory. So we're on a level playing ground here. So Google Play Music. And for your information, both phones are running on the same Wi-Fi system. So. The SA started faster here. Let's do Gmail. That's it. The SA started a, a tad bit faster. And let's do Twitter. SA loaded faster. Let's do Facebook. And we loaded at about the same time here. Um, let's do Instagram. And the S8 loaded faster here. And let's do um, the Play Store Go. And the S8 loaded the Play Store much faster than the Phantom 8. Um, what else is in here? Let's do YouTube. One, two, three, go. And there you have it. They both loaded it at almost the same time, but the S8 loaded some um, thumbnails faster in there. So. Uh, like you can see, the Phantom 8 now is loading it faster. But the reason why you have the S8 much faster in loading apps than the Phantom 8 is because the S8 uses a much premium processor than what you have on the um, Phantom 8. The processor on the Phantom 8, which is the Helio P25 MediaTek processor, is a mid-range processor, while this is a high-capacity octa-core processor. Um, let's see how both phones do when it comes to memory management. So. I'm going to go to the first app I loaded and let's see. So they both have it in memory. Let's go back and load Gmail. And it's still loaded in memory. And it's still loaded in memory. And let's do this. Let's do Facebook. Still loaded in memory. So I expect the Phantom 8 to actually do better in memory management since it has a larger uh, 6 gigabytes of memory. But from this test, they're both performing equally. I don't see any difference at all. Though, okay, so the Samsung Galaxy S8 performed better in this test. So there you have it. In terms of memory management, the Samsung Galaxy S8 is better in terms of app load speeds. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is also better but that's not to say that the phantom 8 isn't a capable device it's a really nice device and it functions very well let's move on to testing the cameras on both this systems so up next is the camera test for both these devices i'm going to start with the techno phantom 8 so let's grab our toy car launch the camera so the Phantom 8 comes with a 12 megapixel and a 13 megapixel camera, which have been touted to be really good. I've used them and pictures on this device comes out very good. The device has almost no shutter lag speed. So I've taken a couple of that image. I'm going to take a couple of image of my little rhino here or hippo rather. So let's do a picture of the hippo quick picture of the hippo, Mr. Hippo. Okay, Mr. Hippo. Now I'm gonna do a quick picture of Mr. Weenie, Weenie the Pooh. So. And for your information, I have dynamic HDR turned on. So I'm gonna put three of these items so we have really high color variation and take a picture of three of them okay there we go all right so i'm going to do the same with the samsung galaxy s8 but 
launch my camera here. So here we go. This is the camera for the Samsung Galaxy S8. And um, wow, this is really nice. Take a couple of pictures. I'm going to take a picture of Weenie alone. Nice. I'm going to take a picture of my Hippo alone. I'm going to take a picture of our red car. This is really nice. So let's do a comparison of the pictures on both phones. So I'm going to get my camera to focus. And that's the group picture here. So this is what you have in both of them. And now from what I can see here, the picture in quality in this guy is really very bright and very neat. I mean, it's really clear. I hope my camera is doing this thing justice. It's really nice. And Techno did a good job with the dual camera system here. I mean, look at the kind of pictures this takes. It's really nice. But with the Samsung Galaxy S8, the color saturation here and the color quality, I mean, this is just a very much color quality. I mean, this is really much compared to what you have here. Um, this is a little bit on the bright side while the one on the Samsung Galaxy S8 just looks really nice and looks true to life. I mean, with the way these things are in real life, that's the way it looks. The, you can see the Hippo here on the Techno looks a little bit washed out. And the car on the Techno, the details are not very um, sharp. So this is a picture of Winnie the Pooh on both um, devices. Very good pictures on both devices, but you can see the kind of details you have on the Samsung Galaxy S8. So let me see. Uh, let's look at the Rhine, um, our Hippopotamus. So both of them are a little bit washed out, but you can see that the one on the Galaxy S8 has more detail, but this is really blown out, really blown out. But that's not to say the picture quality on the Phantom 8 isn't good. I mean, it's amazing from what I can see here and they did a very good job. Okay, so this is our car, our sports car, and you can see the difference in the picture quality. So both these phones are rocking really good cameras, as in they function really very well. I'm impressed with what Techno has done on this phone. I mean, this is a really decent device for its price range. This phone goes for about 128,000 Naira in Nigeria. Now using the front facing camera, you can see these, this is what the pictures look like. On the Samsung Galaxy S8, you have a more match. I think the color quality here is just overall very good. But on the um, Techno Phantom 8, it's really very bright. But you can see how clear these pictures are. You have a little bit more detail on the Galaxy S8 than you have on the um, Techno Phantom um, 8. But really, really nice pictures. Really nice pictures. You will not be disappointed having this phone for um, selfies. It takes really good pictures as well as the Samsung Galaxy S8. So what's my judgment coming after comparing both these devices? Uh, both devices are really nice. They're built very well. I like the design on both of them, but I would have preferred if Techno did away with the chain on the top and the bottom of this. I mean, this is 2017. We've moved past um, um, this um, huge bezel based um, designs. We now have bezel -less designs just like you have on the Samsung Galaxy S8. And I would expect, I was expecting that Techno was going to go this route. We have phones like Yumi DG that has done stuff like this and at a very cheap rate. Um, but nevertheless, the Phantom 8 is also very good. It has a beautiful design, solid build, as in a beautiful back design. And Techno has done very well concerning this one. So verdict, it's your choice, the one you wanna pick. But for me, I like the aesthetics of this better but this is a very capable phone as well. 
So thanks guys for watching this one. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to ask me any question, please leave them in the comment section below. And please, we're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by December this year. If this is your first time coming to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below. And thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.